welcome to day number four. Welcome to day number seven. Day number 12. Welcome to Do It Heartily. Aloha, welcome to episode number 20 of Do It Heartily Junior Edition. We are continuing our journey through Luke chapter 10, verse 27. Let's open in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you today. Thank you so much for another day of life, another day that we can worship you, another day that we can honor you, another day we can spend time with you, another day we can be loyal to you, another day that our actions can represent you. And now we continue to read Luke 10, 27. Help us to do all those things for you. Remove the devil and his distractions. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm glad you're here. Are you glad you're here? Let's jump right into it. All right, Luke chapter 10, verse 27. If I know I can't hear you, but I want you to say it out loud anyway. Let's read it together. Luke chapter 10, verse 27. Luke 10, 27. And he answering said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy strength and with all thy mind and thy neighbor as thyself. We've talked about heart, soul, and strength. And today we're going to talk about mind. What does mind equal? Mind equals your intellect or how intelligent you are. And I'm not talking about intelligence uh, based off of math equations or social studies or history or English or any of those things. We're talking about the Bible. We're talking about your relationship with God. And remember, if you don't have a relationship with God, you need to start once a day. Just ask Jesus to come into your heart and save you from your sin. Okay, so talking about your mind, your intellect, this is what you think about, right? Sometimes you play a video game for a while, and even though you stop playing the video game, you still think about it, right? So what are you thinking about? What do you read and think about? What do you watch and think about? What do you listen to and think about, right? Sometimes you may hear a song, and then you go into a grocery store, maybe you go to Walmart or Foodland or something, and you hear that song again, and you start thinking about that song, and then what? The words from the song come out of your mouth because you have memorized it, you've thought about it. Do you do that with God's Word? I know we're in Luke 10, 27, but I want you to turn to the book of Philippians with me, okay? That's still in the New Testament. Philippians chapter 4, and if you need a minute to get there, just go ahead and pause it. Philippians chapter 4, verse number 8 says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. God gives you a list of things to think about. Do you, once this video is over, do you spend time throughout the day thinking about the Bible and what the Bible said and what you learned from God's Word. Don't let it go in one ear and out the other, right? When you go outside and you see the ocean or mountains or trees, they are beautiful. But do you think about God? When you see a rainbow, remember we talked about that, the very first rainbow. When you see a rainbow, do you remember God's promise to us? Do you see God? Do you think about God? in everything you do, right? So, make sure you're using your mind, your intellect. That's why we need to uh, be in God's Word and reading it so that it sinks in, it stays there. That way when you hear a Bible verse, you're like, oh yeah. Or, like on Mondays when I show, show you those Lego pictures, when you see that Lego picture, you go, oh yeah. Even though there's no words there, your mind, your intellect remembers the story and then you're able to give the answer. Do you think about God's word? All right, number one, what does mind equal? Number two, what does strength equal? Number three, what does soul equal? And number four, what does heart equal? If you don't remember, you may have to go back to previous videos. And then number five, uh, what does, uh, I want you to read Genesis chapter 7, verses 19 through 24. On the next episode, we'll be finishing Luke chapter 10, verse 27, about thy neighbor as thyself. Have a great weekend. We love you. God loves you even more. And aloha.